Okay, on this episode, get to do the dreaded heater core. Yay! I'll tell you guys right off the rip, it's not going to be as detailed as all these other guys. It's probably going to be a very short video because I can't go in there. Um, I'm going to try and get you step by step what I'm doing. I'm actually following a YouTube video myself by a fella named S33 their fan. Uh, the video in question is how to replace an 02 to 09 Dodge Ram 1500 heater core detailed. <laughs> So, we are going to get to that. Um, first step, disconnect that battery. And we're going to play with some trim and whatnot before we start disconnecting any connectors. So we don't want the airbag to blow up in our face. So I will come back to you when um, I made some progress. Okay, so here is Mark II. I'm going to try and go through this as good as I can with you guys but there's only so much that I'm really willing to film because I want to get it done first off you will have these two bolts or two screws you need to take off and then this whole plastic trim will pop out next thing on my truck there's a metal deal that guy that guy that guy that guy pop that off good next I like to take the parking brake lever out from a little red tab back there so you can just pull it all the way out and not worry about it catching on anything we leave this completely alone don't even touch it don't worry about it um another thing is if you have a center console you want to go ahead and take that out we got two bolts one that went there one that went there one that goes there that's where the main actual thing is now we have three bolts here one two three and we got three bolts on the other side however the other side is a little bit different this side has a little mounting pin this side has this little mounting device there you got one two third bolt is right there okay now on to electricals um, we're gonna want to unplug all of this stuff because this whole box will be coming out. Gonna want to unplug this, this, and come up here and unplug this guy, wherever he went off to, right there. Go ahead and give that guy an unplug. Same on there. We unplug that connector there. And we're actually gonna want to rip it out of the its harness connector tree deal. I'll show you. So, on this guy, see how it's attached? We don't want that. So, unhook this, pull it out. It's gravy. Next, that big ugly connector right there. Yep, we're going to need to take that out too. And on my truck, this connector needs to be taken out as well. Let's try that again with light. Okay, so for this big guy, 10 mil zipper out it'll pop out this guy is a clip deal clip it out it'll pop out and we work our way up we need to disconnect the brake switch we need to disconnect this little green wire green blue wire guy we need to disconnect this little guy right here there that guy and then we need to actually take this apart and disconnect i think three connectors Two of them go right up in here, one of them go up into the steering, or the actual, right here for the kachunk kachunk starty switchy. Um, also, we're going to want to go ahead and take that bolt out right there, and then we got one, two, three, four bolts over here. 
And that is about it. Um, there's a couple of 10 mil bolts that I think I forgot to put back in here somewhere. I don't know where they are, but well, I'll show you that when this is out. Um, other than that, it's unbolt. So you unbolt all of this and this guy's gonna come forward. You're gonna pop it up and then it's gonna just fall right on its face. You wanna be very careful, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna really show you a whole lot. I just, I'm gonna explain it. It's hard as hell to film inside the vehicle and have it actually mean something. So, sorry about the uh, shorter than usual video, but that's just kinda how it's gonna have to be on this one. Also, we got some bolts here we need to take out. Let me get my light adjusted and I'll show you. So we're gonna have this plastic nut here. There's a hidden 10 mil there. This 10 mil right there needs to go. This 10 mil right there needs to go. You're gonna wanna pop both your AC lines off with the uh, connector dealies. I still have on one of the thingnesses. I can remember where the hell it went. Yeah, one of these. And one for the big guy, and one for the small guy, the 5.8s, which I have no idea where it's at. Where it's at. Not good, I'm already losing stuff. And it's not there. Anyways, I'll check. Um, you're gonna wanna unscrew these two. Move this right out your way. Try and pop them two lines off. It's gonna be really, really hard, but you gotta do it. Also, you're gonna have to go up in here and get these two lines to pop off. If they haven't been recently serviced, it's gonna be a, ooh, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. I was half tempted to just cut it off and <laughs> order new lines, but I didn't. Um, other than that, you're really not left with much. Um, just unbolt and bolt in, basically. So with that, we're gonna let you go and I'll bring you back when the dash is actually, you know, not there. Okay, so these two bolts. Bam. And bam. I have them in here. That's wrong. Don't do that. Okay, moving on. Um, what we're gonna do just to make it easier on a fella. Go ahead and put that back there. Put this back here. You know, just go ahead and Put all your bolts back where you found them. That way, you go to put things back together, you know. All you gotta do is just, oh yeah, right there, yep, good, perfect, awesome, brilliant, great! And a couple of twirls, make sure there's on more than one thread. Oh, I forgot one thing, too. You're going to have to pop this off of the actual shifter. Um, yeah, so I aside from that, we're uh, nearing the end here. We just got to unscrew six bolts, and we're good. I'll be back. Okay, now you got three 10 mils, one there, one on the bottom, and one over there. Um, like I said, disconnect your heater lines and your icebox lines. We're also gonna wanna disconnect some of these harnesses. I don't remember which one. We'll, we'll figure that out. Actually, I don't think we need to disconnect any of them. We good. Um, yeah. Got them. Cool lines are out. Now uh, all that we should really technically have to do, oh yeah, this is out too, is just, um, I'll give that guy a pull. It should just come right out. 
So I'll be back when I wrestle this out. Now, I know what you're saying. Can we just do this in the truck? And the answer is yes, but you gotta remember, you have screws all the way around the freaking back. And they're all upside down. So if you're in a predicament where you cannot get these guys to come off, you're screwed. I'm sorry, but there's just no amount of prying and tugging and and look what I did here. You know, just trying to pull it out, pull the, the thing is out. I actually broke it. So epoxy to the rescue, I guess. And again, right here. It's me being foolish. Now, we need to go ahead. We need to pop this guy out. We need to take this guy out of its socket. And we need to unplug this guy. The rest of it can stay. Don't, don't touch it. Don't worry about it. And we're gonna unscrew all the screws. And we're probably going to take these two off as well right now, because it's easier. And uh, I'll come back to you after that. Can you hear me okay? It's kind of raining in here. Um, anyways, next step. Just pop that guy right out. Any oils? Nope. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and compare the one that you bought off the of Rock Auto and make sure that you didn't get the wrong one, like I'm sure I did. Part number right there for you. This is for a Mega Cab. I don't know the difference, but there was one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, mm-hmm, yep, looks good to me, let's go. Okay. Come back over here. She's supposed to just sit right in. Let me get you guys put up somewhere. This is scary. I'm so scared right now. It's getting scary. I have no idea where I'm supposed to stick this. Something like that? I don't know. I guess. Sure. Why not? Sorry about that, guys.
sure it was exactly the right one, but uh, we went ahead and made it work. I'm just gonna have to come back. I forgot something. Well, like I say, out with the old and with the new. I still don't know if it's the exact same because it fits weird, but I mean, it fits. It fits, so. Eh, eh, I don't know. Well, um. Not really feeling like uh, put this guy back in here, but I suppose we shall commence. So the, the, the show must go on of sorts. Um, before I go ahead and do that, let me show you a couple little things that I noticed. And that need to probably be addressed. Um, firstly, Yeah, that's, that's not good. Those bushings are shot. Um, secondly, both sides were loose. I don't know if they just, you know, rocked themselves loose or, or what. If they just weren't tightened all the way. Um, next. I don't know if you can see it. Stupid light. Stupid light. Right there. Yes, not good. Okay. Not good at all. So, you really shouldn't be seeing, you really shouldn't be seeing bushing from your front control arm. I don't want to rob parts off the old truck. Now these kind of parts. So they're still in the same shape. I still have yet to put the track bar in. <laughs> oh my gosh. That'll be another day. Oh, 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 oh. I know one thing I wanted to remember. Is... This guy right here, she kind of, you know, does that number. I forgot to put it back on last time, but we remembered this time. I don't know if that's going to help us or hurt us, but we did it. So now commence the reinstallage. Oh, I'm not ready. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Well, we're at a stand still. Um, how long is this cure time? 
don't think I can read it no more. Twenty four hours I gotta wait to put this back together. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Better set a timer on my phone. So in yeah. Okay. suck. Oh well. I mean, I can't put that back in broken. It's gotta not be broken. Goodness gracious. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I guess we just clean up the shop and go to bed. There ain't much left I can do now. Not much at all. Got Grandpa's desk all set up here. He's remaking his little, uh, well, not little. They're pretty, pretty big steps. But uh, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, this crack here. This one's a pretty big crack. So he's remaking. The thing is, this. Look at this. Got one cut up here. The stuff got kind of warped, so I'm just kind of trying to add a little bit of weight to bring her, bring her back around. So it seems to go all over the spring now. Not so much here, but like, right? Still needs more. I don't know. I don't really got anything. Here's our uh, parts bin. You know, just so we don't have parts scattered all over the damn shop. I don't like to do that no more. We're gonna write ourselves a reminder right here. I think that might work. So, just, you know, make sure a guy reminds himself to uh, <laughs> put things together correctly. You know, so he doesn't have to take them back apart again. Yeah, I like that. But I think that's where tonight is going to end. I'm just going to clean up and stare at the sink for a little bit longer and then go to bed. Well, folks, the guy done uh, broke the lens on his camera, but for now, we got our one bolt back in. Two bolt. And a three bolt back here. On the inside of the cab, we got our two 10 millimeters up in top. There, back there. One 10 on the bottom. Now it's just reassembly time. Get this back. Oop. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna get to work on that and I'll be back with you. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, the guy went ahead and got the uh, dash put back in. We're almost done. Again. Oh, and the AC lines are all installed like a beast. No problems. 
so we really didn't do a finish up on this video i'm gonna do a quick one here with you guys now everything's back in working as it should three bolts and you got the three bolts you got those two tens that run in there also got the steering wheel that goes in first there's the actual bolts and then there's two no there's there's four nuts and then there's two bolts the top bolts you got to hold off on until you get those nuts run in there those two 10 millimeters the 13 mils you put on last you put these 13 mils on to hold it in and then you can put one on here one on here but you have to undo it and then stick that 10 mil bolt up there and then redo it and then do the same thing on the other side only other thing i had to do you got two 10 mil bolts that go in somewhere there and you got four eight mils they go one two three four this guy pops up and out going back in in and down you got to put your trim pack pieces back in. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Um, everything aside from that is just electrical and you work your way back from where you started. The main block and that little guy and then you go back up and it's pretty self-explanatory from there. You just plug in, plug and play. Um, and it should be good. It's, it's really hard to mess up the electronics. My only advice is really be mindful of this airbag. It is a yellow connector up here somewhere. And mark your steering wheel when you do it. So you don't get it in 180. Um, yeah, other than that, it was just snap together. Snap, snap. And yeah. So I haven't gotten the AC charged yet. I'm waiting on a muffler point appointment currently. I haven't even taken it on a drive yet, actually, so. But with that, we're going to end this video. If you liked it, go ahead, comment, hit that like button, subscribe. Um, also share it, too. We also have merch now, camelgarage.com. Go give that a check out. Uh, we got a 20% off deal running right now. I will provide that in the link below.